All righty. There we go. No fanfare, no intro music, no sexy graphics. <laughs> Just a picture of the map. We're going to talk today about this whole area here and a few other bits and pieces. And we're looking at Deadly Northern Lights as per the topic header and all that sort of fun stuff. If you're here, say hi. Uh, it'd be nice just to know who is present and uh, you chime in, ask questions by all means. Today is not a tutorial. Uh, and today is also not going to be, uh, as I mentioned in one of my uh, uh, sharing uh, links, uh, it may not necessarily be 100% accurate either. We're going to do our best to share what happened in term one. It was a very, what's the right word? I guess involved turn. There was a lot going on, a lot of moving parts. This is an operational scale game. It's two days per game turn. And I forget the hex scale. I think it's five clicks or something like that. That's something I can look up for you real quick. I always forget what the, uh, what the hex scale is. It's either 10 or five or something like that. Oh, who knows? Where is it? Here it is, 14, way off, 14 clicks, 14 kilometers. So uh, let's see, uh, I'm gonna just open up my comments here and let you guys say hello. And uh, let's see, so, okay, let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to try and cover off on was, so I guess the, pre the preamble and the prep that goes into creating a turn inside the 1985 system or the under an iron sky system, right? So there's a fair bit to it. It, uh, it can be reasonably uh, involved to get, uh, you know, to work out how you can do what you want to do, right? So for instance, uh, in this particular scenario, scenario number two, it's uh, positing that the Soviets were going to come from this side of the screen, from the left-hand side of the screen, so to the south, the south and the east, and they were going to potentially invade Finland and Sweden with the objective being that they would invade Sweden uh, as their ultimate objective and Finland may just be sort of a byproduct of that and it would allow us to allow them to uh, perhaps uh, secure a base, uh, an airfield or whatever that they could use for supplying and stuff like that. So we'll, <clears throat> we'll have a little bit of a chat about that in a minute, but my, uh, when I looked at the game and I'm going to move the camera around a minute, I'm actually, actually got you guys on my little, uh, tablet device here. And so hopefully the stream is reasonably good. I don't know what the quality is like. Uh, so please pop a comment in if it's horrible maybe i'll stop and i'll put it on we'll restart this and do it on my cell phone uh, it's just hard for me to see all the comments on my cell phone uh, so anyway so uh, please say hi and comment uh where was i right so we were talking about trying to build our plan for how we're going to how, how we're going to achieve what we want to achieve and there's a significant number of air units in 99% of all the scenarios and they all uh, reside on these uh, smartly numbered air bases and all this sort of good stuff. So getting, getting, having them organized is critical. Knowing what the different aircraft capabilities are is super critical. And then understanding how you can use them to achieve your objectives in any given plan is also pretty critical. Uh, it's important that you work out how the air units and the naval units are going to interact with each other and how they're going to help the land units once they're either dropped or shipped in or moved in or whatever the case may be. So when we were looking at trying to land in, whoa, <laughs> land in Stockholm, I'll have to watch that, won't I? There's little magnets in these guys. Uh, when we're trying to land in Stockholm here or near Stockholm, that was going to be our objective. If we, cap if we capture that, we pick up a whole bunch of VPs and then it, uh, it really stymies the, the Swedes and then we can sort of expand outwards from there. So that was my first objective. Well, in order to do that, I need to have a base where I can bring in supply so that all these chaps can stay in supply. And in order to, to capture a base 
and then repair it uh, if you have combat over any particular uh, hex basically except uh, vacant ports which have a white uh, a white port symbol I'm trying to see if I can find one here uh, there are white port symbols and there are yellow points ports port symbols These, this is a yellow one so that's actually a naval base it's a military installation so anytime you try and take a military installation you're going to have to have a fight and it's perceived that there's a garrison force there and so you you almost automatically win that battle right but uh you've got to do that fight and then you have to execute the combat all that sort of good stuff but you also cause damage so you've got to repair it and so to fix that base it's going to cost me 10 supply points if i capture this airfield that's underneath here that's damaged which i did uh, it's going to cost me five supply points to fix that it's uh, the resolution is not great huh oh, okay well that is a shame um i wonder if i could do something different here you know what uh let me let me just punch this up on my other thing i'll get it going and we'll put we'll put two links up and then I'll, I'll close this one off let's see if i can do that real quick i'm gonna need a stand bear with me while we do that how fuzzy is it dude I'm, i've got it's supposed to be streaming 720p I'm wondering if YouTube will let me stream two channel, two uh, two videos at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, not that we'll end up doing that, but let's see. Let's get this guy set up in here. So bear with me for a minute. All those of you that are just joining, we're considering changing the uh, the link and providing a better uh, visual experience here. Go live. DNL, DNL. We'll just do that briefly. Swap the camera around. And done. Public. Now I'm going to have to try and remember what the hell I was talking about, but we'll get to it. All right, I'm going to. Yeah. Hey, Mark. All right. All right. I, I'm going to, I'll end this broadcast guys. Uh, look for the link. It'll be, uh, it'll be up in a sec. Here we go. I'm going to go live right now. <laughs>